How to sharpen a pair of shears. Using a nail buffer? Yep, using a nail buffer, like what you'd use on your nails. Now, this might not be really called sharpening, more like reconditioning. Here's a jazzy shear that's been in our sample package, and when we test it, it's not cutting correctly. You see, we're cutting wet tissue, and it's not cutting even the wet tissue. There's not even a tear. So we want to sharpen it, but we don't want to be too radical. Just recondition the edge. This is where the nail buffer comes in. This is a very smooth nail buffer, 3000 grit on one side. That's the side we're using. And it's very soft, less pressure than what you would use on your fingernails. I'm going to follow the contours of that convex edge going toward the edge. And then on the inside, I'm still moving toward the edge and I'm coming in flat. You see this? Now I'm going to come on work the other side without closing the shears. And I'm gently running it across the edge, kind of following the angle. And on the inside, once again, flat. Going, moving it up and toward the edge at the same time. Now let's test it. I'm wetting my tissue. This is single ply tissue, just regular water spraying it on so it's dampened and I'm going to come in and cut. Now you see my thumb is pulled out of the hole so it's the least pressure possible. It's cutting better. It's cutting better but you see the tip still pulling. So we need to work on this a little bit more. And I'm going to concentrate at the tip and that's un not unusual because that's where most of the stylists are doing most of their cutting and we're just going to do it again. Same, maybe a little bit more pressure for the same technique, pushing toward the edge and then toward the tip. Now, let's hope this will work. Let's see. I'm going to cut the dampened tissue. Will it cut? Will it cut? Will it cut? Oh, it's still pulling a little bit at the tip. Uh, and we need to do something about that. So, I'm going to take a look at it. And I'm going to go back on the tip with my nail buffer, same technique, trying it again. Let's flip it over, do the other tip, and then flat on the inside. And that's my 3000 grit, but this time I'm going to turn it over. I'm not using the coarsest, but I'm using the next to the finest grit. And I'm going to work just that tip where it's pulling. Now the inside, I'm going to flip it back over, do the 3000 grit. Never use anything coarser than that on that inside when you're working with a nail buffer. And then to the next, and that's probably maybe a thousand grit, 500 grit. I'm not sure, but it's the medium grit. And then the 3000 on the tip. Now most of the time this will fix it. Um, very rare have I had it not cut. So let's find out if this third time is the charm. Cutting the wet tissue, least pressure possible, across and oh, it's still pulling at the tip. So what is wrong with these shears? What are we going to do next? I really don't want to go through the whole process of resharping them. I would just like to recondition them. They're cut dry. So that most of your stylists are going to be fa be happy with the way they cut now. But I want these cutting perfect. So I'm going to check them over. Are the tips coming together? Is the adjustment right? Is there anything weird about the edge? I'm going to look at it very close. I'm looking at the ride line. That's that little shiny line on the inside. I have other videos on that if you need to know more about and understand ride lines. I'm closing it. There's a little bit of a drag. So I'm thinking there may be an alignment problem. I'm going to go to my water stone. And this is a 2000 grit water stone. I don't think I would use anything coarser than this. The higher the number, the finer it is. And this is 2000 grit. I'm putting my pressure over the pivot hole, light up at the tip, and I'm working that edge. That's going to be the inside cutting edge of the shear. And you see the red that's left behind? It tells me those areas have not come into contact with my water stone. And I need to walk, work it more. It's probably an alignment issue. I'm going to work it a little bit more, a little bit more pressure on the places where I saw the red, but still my main pressure is over my pivot hole. I'm checking it. And the part in the front, the red is gone, but I'm still seeing red in the back. Let's work it some more. 
And let's see if we've got it taken care of this time. Do I see red? Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the corner of my stone, wet it good, and I'm putting pressure on the pivot hole, so I'm really removing metal underneath that pivot area. And that's going to kind of bring it, the whole blade and straighten it out a little bit. And you see how it's worked that area? Same thing with the other blade, and I can kind of expect similar issues usually with the second blade as with the first. But let's check it. Any red? Yes. Now there's some red at the up at the tip, toward the tip, but it's in a different spot. And I still have the red in the back. It, this tells me that these shears were probably dropped, or maybe they were whacked up against something. Um, whatever it is, we need to get these fixed and we get a, need to get them cutting right. So I'm working the ride line some more, putting a little extra pressure, pressure on the places where I saw the red, but still at least 60 to 70 percent of my pressure over that pivot hole. Now I'm checking my blade and this looks like it's good. I think all the the red has gone and my ride line's good. Now I'm going to go over it with a nail buffer and that nail buffer is going to remove any residual burr that might have moved to the outside. I'm going to do a few swipes on the inside so that if I push a little burr over to the inside I can remove it. Still moving it toward the edge. Same thing with the second blade. Following that contour and the edge on the shear so I can remove any residual burr and then on the inside. Wiping it off. I'm going to clean them off with alcohol, remove any of the red sharpie that might be left behind. And now it's time to reassemble them. Let's check them. Will it cut dry? Should cut dry. Yep, it's cutting dry, but we need this to cut wet. So getting some fresh single ply tissue, wetting it with water so it's dampened, and I'm going to go in. Will it cut? Will it cut? Oh, perfect cut. Perfect cut, you see? And very little pressure, and it's giving me a nice cut. I've checked it twice. So these shears are sharpened, and they're ready to go back into my sample pack. Now, if you're interested in learning more about sharpening, maybe becoming a professional sharpener or getting advanced training if you are a sharpener, check with us at Vanika Shears. Um, you can call us or go to our website. We train sharpeners, we sharpen shears, and we love beauty shears here at Vanika Shears. Just give us a call.